Hello folks and welcome to a brand new series all about roofs. Roofs. The plural is indeed roofs and not roofs. So we're here with one of the fanciest types of roofs. That's why I'm starting this now because I found this nice mansard here. And the first episode of Roof Review will be about the mansard. Now you can tell this is a mansard because the roof continues down. You can see the windows in there. It's kind of a sign. You can see here on the corner, up here, that's really dark. Uh, like here, you can tell on the corner, it all continues down like that. And th this isn't a perfect mansard because the, you can see the shingles aren't perfect. You know, the shingles don't continue down, there are shingles up above, up there. But since we can't see those, and mansards are getting rarer and rarer, there, I just decided to go ahead and go with this one because that's the easiest thing available. Now, for my personal opinion on the mansard, I'm really not a big fan. It feels like it's almost trying too hard because there's, it's just like a, another floor almost under there. Like the attic basically isn't an attic, it's another floor. And it just seems unnecessary. If you're going to fancy roof types, the gamble does everything so much better and whenever I find a gamble, you will see that episode and I'll talk about it. Great. Now, for, for our inaugural episode, I'm joined here with some guests. So, hello guest. Well, well, what's your opinion on the mansard here? Well, I think that the mansard roof in its true form gives a very sophisticated and elegant kind of kind of look to a house or to a building. Um, and I, you know, I, I think that comes from you know its traditional European heritage, and it just gives it a nice sophistication that we don't usually see. But I will agree that this is kind of a, this is a faux mansard. It's not the true form. And uh, considering this is not some fancy European mansion or villa, and it's actually just some, you know, kind of small sized condos on an island in South Carolina, um, I, I agree with your, your sentiment that it, uh, it's kind of just yeah. trying too hard, trying to be fancier than it really is. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my take. Yeah, and I mean, I uh, if I could find a real mansard in a convenient location, I would record that one. But mm -hmm. they're really they're not very popular. The style's kind of declining. We're going more and more in simple and simple roofs, and that might be an issue in today's society. That's really a shame. Yeah. Why, why do we have to resort to these kind of roofs? You know, I want the real mansards. Be because you know the the cookie cutter houses. Yeah. They're all simple. They're all the stupid construction workers, they, they can only build gables. So we, we, gotta, we gotta stick with the gables. <laughs> Alright, and that, that's our first episode of Roof Review, featuring the Mansard. Now as a point of order, my source of roof distinctions comes from Dwayne Johnson's How a House Works, and the, like, the last chapter. Actually no, first chapter. Wait, Dwayne the Rock Johnson? It's spelled differently. Oh. It's D U A N E. Just Actually, just to clarify yeah. for our for our viewers. Yeah. So the, the first chapter has a section about roof types, and that is the guide I'm using. There are five types. There's like Wikipedia articles and other types, but I find that all those articles are just all the roofs in those articles are just like copies of each other in slightly different forms. So I don't think they're unique enough. Of course, if I find a roof that's unique, and if I will discuss it, of course, make a special video. But in general. We have five main roof types, and that's what I'm going to be talking about. And I'd like to thank you for joining me on this inaugural episode of Roof Review. Thank you for watching if you watched, and uh, if you didn't watch, you should watch. See ya. He said like and subscribe. I mean, if you want to, that's cool. But since you're not real, it won't work. Thanks, Follow folks. Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. That too, I guess.